What up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve, how you doing? Um, as I mentioned in my, I think it was, I don't know, I really do, I do a vlog every day, I can't even remember where I am, or what vlog I'm on. Um, I said I was getting uh, some stuff from Amazon, uh, a drone for my vlogs to see if I can make them better. And I also got this VR set for my phone, so um, I thought I'd give you a little sneak preview of what they look like before I start using them. So this is really awkward with one hand. Right, so um, as you can see, I'll stand up. As you can see, it's kind of you slip your phone into the VR set. And then you watch it through the goggles. So it's not really... It's like, um... You watch your phone through the VR goggles. Which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to give this a go like tonight, when I go to bed. Um, but let's have a look, see what it looks like. Is that the package? Um... Hey. Yeah, so pretty cool thing. It's a VR. On, let's do it this way. It's a VR. Sorry, give me a sec. Let's try and get this so it looks. There we go. So it's a VR tapoin. I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna clear. Well, so you stick the phone in there, so the phone would sit in there, and then you're looking through the goggles there. And then you kind of get the VR experience through there. So I'm going to give this a go when I go to bed. Um, but yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. Virtual reality glasses, it's got adjustments on there. Um, it looks pretty self-explanatory, to be fair, you just put the phone in. Got like a nice cleaner. Um, but yeah, it's really simple to use, just stick the phone in, and then you're on your way. I'm going to be looking for some, maybe some VR games, hopefully, that I can get for my phone that I'll be able to use on this bad boy. But yeah, that's my first one, the VR Tepoin. Alright, the next thing I got was the X5 SC1 um, drone, so let's have a look. Hopefully it's easy to get out with my army. No, it's not. Give me a sec. So there you go. Look pretty cool. Man. Um. All right. Got your controller there. Obviously to move your drone around. Um. I can't remember how high it goes. I think it's about 50 meters away. You can tell it's pretty cool, man. Nice. Seriously, that's the the weight of that is nothing. There's like nothing there. And then there's your little webcam. That obviously goes into the bottom of the drone. But yeah, it's a cool bit of kit, man. I can't wait to use it. It's been pretty. It's been pretty windy in Wolverhampton um, today. So I didn't want to take it out today. Hopefully, it's not that bad tomorrow. And I might be able to get some footage with it. Um, the camera, although it says HD cam, I think is literally like a 2 megapixel. So, you know, the camera isn't going to be the best. But I thought for my first drone, um, for my first drone, just to try it out. I don't want to spend like, you know, I'll be gutted if I crash this and this only cost me like 40 quid. But I thought it'd be sweet for my first round just to have a go. Um, so like my mate was saying to me yesterday, when you do realise as soon as you fly it up it's going to be gone. <laughs> it surprised me. It'd be straight into a tree. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to using it.
Oh yeah, cool. Let's talk about the message of the room. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Can't wait to have that. What about YouTube? Um, yeah, I tried to show you those bits and bobs um, that I picked up from Amazon. Uh, I'm not reselling them, but I thought I'd show you. Um, I'm tired. I, I think I had, had about three hours sleep, I think, something like that. I got in about half three. Um, got in about half three. Got up about half seven, and had to get had to be at work. Um, because pff, I shouldn't have been at work. I really shouldn't have been at work. Any other place of work, I probably wouldn't have been sat today. Um, but yeah. Oh. I need to. I can't, I can't be doing that anymore. I need to stop. I think come the new year, um, I'm going to have a little tickle over the Christmas period. But come the new year, I think it's time to just. I'm not going to completely knock it on the head, but just knock it on the head for a bit. Just chill out for a bit. Stop getting smashed. <laughs> stop going out and getting, getting smashed. It's never intentional. It's always like last night was a meal. We were having a quiet drink, and then all of a sudden. I'm in a casino and I'm getting the last train back. <coughs> but it was a good night, I enjoyed it. Um but I'm way too old to be going out and getting back at three in the morning. I could maybe do it sober, but going out and getting smashed till three in the morning just ain't the ain't the do. If those if that's Um, sorry about the vlog today, not the best. Uh, to be fair, you're lucky you got one. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, gonna catch up on some sleep. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can have a go on the drone tomorrow, but I'm not. I've got this feeling that if there is a bit of wind, um, If there is a bit of wind, I can't use it. Because it's so light. I mean, there's literally nothing to that. There's no weight to it. So I don't want to fly it up. And then it ends up um, just zzz, like flying off somewhere. So I will be good. It is the reason why I've got one like this. Because um, for 40 quid. Because when you look at the expensive ones, that cost like a grand. I'd be gutted if I'd, I, I, I don't, I've never flown a drone, so I don't know. I've never flown anything like this. So, um, I'd be absolutely gutted if I'd paid stupid amounts of money for it. I'd be gutted if I'd lose something that cost me 40 quid. But, um, I'll be less gutted than having a proper one that's like 100 quid. Or, like, I mean, some of them than grands, you know what I mean? So, but anyway, I'm going to go off to bed. Catch some Z's, catch them on some sleep. Um, but yeah, so for now, peace out. I'll see you later. See you tomorrow.